Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Thank you for joining us again today. Now we have a wonderful, fabulous, a unique book for you. Today's story is called Andy and the Pharaoh's Cat, written by Caroline Watson Dubis. This wonderful story is about a little boy called Andy who had a role in the school play. And it was a magnificent role. Let's see what happens. Let's get started. I stayed late after school one day. I was playing the pharaoh in the second grade play. As I practiced my lines, I spied a striped cat. He looked at me strangely from where I sat. I took off my necklace and enticed him to play. And then he snatched it up and ran away. Huh? I chased him into our pyramid set. That necklace was something that I just had to get. The pyramid set was dark, but not so dark he could not hide. The cat was nearly in my grasp when he bolted out onto a path. As I stepped out, the sun was bright and the striped cat was nowhere in sight. I followed the path all the way down to what seemed to be an Egyptian town. The marketplace was crowded. There was so much to see. For Egyptians, this was the place to be. I wandered down the bustling street when suddenly the cat was at my feet. I lunged for the cat, but he slipped away. He had bolted through an ornate doorway. Down the great hall, I followed that cat. Huh? And into the throne room where the pharaoh sat. Why do you dress like the pharaoh, young man? Oh, my sir, I'm your biggest fan. From the corner of my eye, I saw the cat slip through the door. Respectfully, I bowed and followed him once more. The cat dropped the necklace and jumped up on a stool. I looked around and I was back at school. So I stepped out on stage for my final bow. But the pharaoh's cat had the last meal. Ah! 
the end. What a wonderful, fabulous story. Andy and the Pharaoh's Cat. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Bye.